There's almost a magic power that comes from the word please. Please and thank you to some of the most ubiquitous words in the entire English language, right? We hear them so often. Please, may I something, thank you. You know, they're platitudes almost, right? Generic. But they don't have to be. These words are really about intentions. They're really about your expressing something. Gratitude and politeness. Those are the specific things in this case. When you ask for something, rather than say, hey, can I have that? May I please have that? And you might be wondering, you know, what's the real difference here? What's, what's a please? Well, a please in this case, especially if meant, is an expression of politeness. I know that I am asking you for something, but may I please have it, you know? It, it changes the onus of it from, I need this thing to, you don't have to, but, without actually giving that, you don't have to, but, with the leading beginning that sort of implies, I need this thing now. You know what I'm talking about. It's about letting the person know that you are okay with not getting it, and that you are grateful for even being considered. It's such a nebulous concept included in a simple word, and that is the essence of polite exchange. You know, thank you is another such word, where you get something, someone does something nice for you, even someone just steps out of your way to let you go first, be sure to look them in the eye and say, thank you. Not just a little passing wave and a, hey, thanks, you know, just look at them. Let them know you're acknowledging their existence for a moment, and you're actually thanking them. There's a big difference between using these words as platitudes and using them in the real, intended, meaningful way. Because, quite simply, when we're in positions where we must say please or thank you, we have been indebted to someone in some way. Whether it's because we're requesting something or because a kindness has been done to us, even in the most minor way, there's sort of a debt, an unspoken debt. Someone holds a door open for you. They've done an action for you that was not needed. They didn't have to. It's nice, though. By thanking them, by honestly, truly, and meaningfully thanking them, you're letting them know that that is an action they should keep doing. That that random act of gratitude and niceness, that that is an action they should keep repeating. Rather than just walking on by the person who opened the door not acknowledging their existence. That tells them, ah, no one cares. Yeah, you open the door for someone to be nice, they don't care. Screw you. Screw your niceness. That's the message it sort of sends, you know. You might not really give a thought to them, but you should. Because that's, that's the basic exchange of conversation between human beings. We can either make it nice and pleasant, or we can make it brutal and cold. And the words please and thank you are two of the easiest ways to warm the conversation out of this cold and detached, meaningless exchanges that a lot of people have now when they meet one another in public, where they're almost too uncomfortable with the idea of talking to another human being to even say anything. Everyone knows what I'm talking about here, I know it. I see it all the time where we have people running into each other and they have no idea how to talk to the person because, well, there's this awkwardness, this, they're another person, what do I say to them, what's going on? People don't know. But you can open up something with a simple, hey, how are you doing? Could you please move your cart if you're in a grocery store? You know, it's a good icebreaker too, as well as being nice. You would be amazed at the power of these words if you just tried them out with honesty and mean them. Because I repeat that for a reason. These words are only meaningful when you honestly mean them. If you just throw out pleases and thank yous whenever and put no meaning to them, then they are just platitudes. They are just meaningless extensions to a conversation, adding an extra word at the beginning or end. And politeness should never just be that. Politeness should be a state of mind, expressed simply and humbly. And opening with a please and ending with a thank you is a good beginning to just making yourself a more overall affable person. Just something to think about.